Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I was just out and about and uh, I got a $50 gift card to English Pro Tackle um, for Christmas and I decided to go spend some. I really wanted to focus on getting my jig box um, kind of in detail. I have a lot of jigs and stuff, but I really wanted to get specific with my colors and stuff like that. So I, uh, I stocked up on some jigs and some trailers and stuff. So I'm going to go in depth and show you what I got. Now to start off, I got two dirty jigs, 3 8 ounce flipping jigs. The color I got them in is Dirty Chartreuse. This is a great summer color pattern. Um, I definitely like to fish summer crawl, rage crawls, so this will definitely go good in the summertime. And uh, that deep water when you need um, kind of a crawl looking bait, but with that highlighted chartreuse in it. Next I got Santone Lures Half Ounce Football Jigs. Now to start off with the football jigs, here's a Santone Lures Half Ounce Football Jig. These are my favorite football jigs made. They have a bunch of great colors. And uh, this one in particular is a black and blue tip. It's uh, black down by the body and blue up by the end of the skirt. Um, this is great for dirty water conditions. I got two more in the black and blue color pattern. Um, these are different than that last one. These are black and blue purple. Um, again, both in half ounce. Um, it's like my most, my most versatile weight is just a half ounce. Black and blue purple. Um, again, great dirty water baits. Now this next football jig kind of imitates a craw a little bit better. Um, it's kind of a brown yellowish and has a little bit of green in them. This one is in the bullfrog color. Um, this is a great color. I fished this before and uh, I love this color. Next is one of the most popular colors made, peanut butter and jelly, uh, PB&J. This is a great color and uh, imitates a natural craw very well. The last jig I got is another half ounce football jig in Mexican heather color. Um, this is a great bait. Um, kind of has like a little bit of like watermelon-ish and then some flaky purple and uh, some dark green. So this is a, a great looking bait. Looks really natural and uh, it's good for that semi-stained color because of that, that sparkle in the purple. Uh, makes it stand out a little bit better than just a complete natural brown or green. Okay guys, next I picked up some trailers for these jigs and uh, I'm going to show you exactly what I got. Now I got three packs of these Yum Wooly Bugs. Um, these are great looking trailers, they're a small profile, and uh, they keep that football jig kind of a, a small compact bait, um, other than like a rage crawl or something like that that's really big, really profile, moves a lot of water. These are a little bit more subtle, and uh, I think a little bit better for those winter bites. First I got a package of these in Bama Bug. Um, this will go great with that uh, flaky purple and green. Um, those sparkles or whatever, this, this really complements it on the bottom of this bait. It has some dark green, like turquoise sparkles, and uh, I think it'll definitely match some of those uh, football jigs very well. The second package I got is Bream. Um, this is a great color to complement those black and blue ones. Um, it kind of has an iridescent coat over it and black and blue sparkles, along with a black and blue kind of mixed in body. So this will definitely, definitely match up well with those black and blue football jigs. The last package of the Wooly Bugs I got um, this is my last one. This will definitely match kind of this, uh, the dirty jigs, the kind of the summer craw pattern, um, the dirty chartreuse. Um, this one is an ultimate craw and, uh, I'm, I'm super excited about using these. I've never used these before and they look really good. Um, they're kind of a small, prof small profile beaver style bait, um, 3.25 inches, so three and a quarter inch, um, trailers. So I'm super excited about using these. The last two trailers I picked up are Zoom's Ultra Vibe Speed Crawl. These are great crawls. Um, they have a real skinny, slender profile, but uh, and their pinchers aren't that big, but they move a lot of water and they have a great action on them. So uh, these are outstanding baits um, and a little bit different than those beaver style baits. These move when the bait moves just jagging along the bottom. Um, they kind of move just like a rage crawl does. So uh, I got one in green pumpkin purple. I got this color mainly to match the brown jigs I got um, and match that PB&J. Um, green pumpkin is kind of a darker green, almost like a green and a brown mix. And then it has uh, some light purple flakes in it. So um, that'll definitely complement those brown jigs really well. The second package was in Alabama Craw. Um, this will definitely match those brown jigs as well. Um, kind of a lighter bait, so maybe in a little bit uh, some dirtier water. It's kind of like a almost like a neon orange on the bottom of the craw. Um, super realistic and uh, I've used these before, different brands, the same color pattern and they work outstanding. Okay, so with all these jigs and stuff, I'm gonna need a keep, place to keep them. I have another jig box, but it's one of the smaller ones. So I also picked up a Plano 3700 series 
um, watertight box. These are my favorite boxes. I keep all my terminal tackle in them. Um, I keep finesse jigs in them. I keep my shaky heads in them. And uh, they're outstanding boxes. They, uh, they keep your stuff um, with zero rust all the time. They're great boxes. And uh, I wanted another one so I can keep my, my football jigs and heavier jigs in one and my finesse jigs in another one. So um, I wanted to pick one of these up. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was just a short unboxing video of what I picked up at English Pro Tackle. If you live anywhere in the Keller or Dallas area, definitely go check out English Pro Tackle. Um, Rick does a great job owning his store. He keeps very good care of it and he has everything you need for freshwater fishing. So uh, I'll post the address on the screen right here. So definitely go give him a check and uh, we'll catch y'all later. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see y'all next time.